you're requesting it and now it's here i'm going to be showing you how to do tdj style trance techno to go along this video make sure to grab this template at the top of the description everything you just heard in the intro is available at the top of the description on my website thanks for the support guys and let's dive in all right so we're at 165 bpm first thing i have here is a synth kick This kick is made with operator. All it is is just a sine wave. The just literally a sine wave, and then you make the envelope like a bit shorter, like this, right? But you still have this attack time here, so that it's kind of like got a bit of body. And then, really, where this is happening is with the pitch envelope, right? So if we turn this off, now I was trying to get one of these clickier kind of synth kicks. I think TDJ does synthesize a lot of her kicks. And I think she's doing it like this to kind of get the like, it's less of a 909 and more of an 808. But it's kind of like something in between. If you actually listen to what's really happening here, it's something in between those two. So the way I've done this, it's the two part pitch envelope. That's the secret. You got to get right like the attack time and then it's got to hit the peak here has to like hit on the note you want. And then this is sort of like the body at the end. And then if you just have like the ones here, See, that's, how, that's why you probably try to synthesize kicks and they're not really all there. It's because you're not doing the two tier. So from there, we also got a little bit of magic going on with this audio effect track. Here's without it. In here, it brings out a lot of click. So what we're doing is I've got the first layer, I've got this low pass. And the second layer is a high pass with a distortion after it. So we're kind of just taking the highs and then clipping them a little bit, and then you layer it with the low pass one. And there you go, you get a really clicky kick. So this is a great technique to bring your kicks, and especially like synth kicks like this, to life. Then I'm just cutting out all the low end. I noticed this is something important when I was referencing against her tracks. There's not a lot of low end, honestly, in the kick, or really even in the rumble. So I just got that, and then we're converting to mono. Then we have our bass. So this is a rumble. I'm using this sample here. It's a techno kick. It's the same one that I'm using for the side chain up here that's muted. Um, and so what's happening is, yeah, it's a techno kick. I'll just turn off all the effects and then you can hear kind of what's happening. So you take a kick and it's playing 16th notes with the arpeggiator. And you can see I've taken just the end because at the start, it's a bit too high pitched, right? The way a kick works, you can literally see it in the waveform. Is it's a very high pitch going down to a low pitch, right? So you want to take this kind of from the low pitch, and then we low pass it. A little bit of really short hybrid reverb. Convert that to mono. Distort it, which brings out the rumble, right? Low pass that again. So it's just the rumble. Auto pan to give it like the side chain effect. And then cutting a bit of sub, because I also noticed in these tracks, and since it is so fast, like, we are at 165 BPM, it works a little better to cut the sub. It just kind of makes it flow a little better. And then if you put that with the kick, boom. Then we have the rest of our drums, starting with just this hi-hat. Really fat, mid-rangey hi-hat, you know, just more of a tsh, not so much of like a 909 big open thing. I have this little clap. So what's happening here is it's just playing, if I play it with the hi-hat, you can really hear. Right, it's just playing a few notes, and then I have it going into a delay first. So you get all those extra tails, then there's a low-pass filter, which has an LFO on it, moving it around. So it's kind of like moving that delay. Then we distort it a bit, right, here's without. with so it really brings everything out a bit more and kind of saturates it and helps it kind of also it takes away some of the punch like this is more like a hi-hat now right which can be bad sometimes but in the case of this what you want then an auto pan to make it just really tight and like side chain sounding with the kick then we're just cutting out some lows i have a few loops i've got this one and this one both being auto pan side chain and high pass Last drum here is just this little operator hi-hat. Right, it's just adding those 16th notes. It's just a little bit of white noise. And then with a short envelope plus a low pass filter actually. 
So it's kind of more in the ch -ch -ch. like I wanted more of that mid range percussion. And then a little bit of auto pan side chain, not much. High pass filter, whole drums together. Sound like that. So that's really the techno part. I think with these tracks, you know, that's what makes it very techno. Even like we do have a trans bass. But you can hear it's just rolling. It's not really like a bass line. It's not even got the low end. So then we got this pad. It's really simple. We're in the key of E minor. We're just playing a basic E minor chord, root, third, fifth. And then we're switching down root, ninth, fifth. And it helps build some tension against the other synth. And it gives us something really static also, like, you know, going back to the techno feel, it doesn't need a whole chord progression. It doesn't need a whole, like, trying to be an orchestra. It's just kind of like a steady thing that changes a little bit and has a bit of texture to it. For the sound, I've got this wavetable patch. It's a modern sweep wavetable with this triangle here. A little bit of a low pass. I didn't want this to have so much high end. And then just a bit of noise unison. Some reverb, a high pass filter. And then auto pan side chain, and that's all that you need. Then we've got this little sort of pad lead thing. So this is playing two melodies at once. It's like the dun 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 plus this slower one, which is just going kind of down. So then we got this analog patch. You can see it's two saw waves, a little bit of a low pass filter with little LFO moving it around, heat tracking, and then a little envelope to make it a bit more punchy. We got some unison and the glide as well, which sounds really cool. When you're playing chords like that, you can hear it glide. We got a bit of chorus, a bit of delay, and some reverb as well. Right, you can hear making it nice and ethereal. Auto pin to make it bounce off the kick, and then a high pass filter. Then we have this little trance bass rolling. It's just playing the root note E, and then I have an arpeggiator to make it do the 16th notes. This is really simple. It's just a saw wave low pass filter with a nice plucky short envelope. You know, nothing really crazy. Auto pin to make it bounce off the kick, and then a high pass. And then the last layer down here is our lead. So it's a really simple melody. We're just doing root, ninth, third, fifth. It's like you pick just a few notes, create a rhythm like the bum, 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 right? And then just move it around the different notes. That's the secret to trance techno. Now, for the sound on this one, it's made with wavetable. I want to show you what the patch sounds like without any effects. So here it would be just completely dry. So we got this Echoes wave table and then the saw wave. You can hear what they each do. Right, they work together, create something really cool. I got a low pass filter with an envelope on it and the same envelope is also on the oscillator one position. I've also got a little bit of an LFO on there as well. I've got some classic unison. And then we start bringing the effects. So first a bit of overdrive. You can hear it just gives it some oomph and really like brings out the mid-range. We got a little bit of delay. Some reverb as well, so just kind of a bit of ambience without overdoing it, right? I think that's important. When you want it to be really rhythmic and like dun 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 like that, don't let the delay and reverb get in the way. Like if I turn those up. Right, so if we turn them back down. There you go. Auto pin to make it bounce off the kick and then a high pass filter. And there we are. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get this full template at the top of the description on my website. Don't miss out, guys. It's a really great deal. Thanks for the support, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.